So one of the phrases that was going around all the time when I was at college, both as a student and then teaching college amongst my colleagues, it was a favorite, and that was writing is rewriting. Now, many of my colleagues were good writers, and plenty of them were great teachers, but this was a phrase that never really sat right with me. I would get into frequent debates with them about it, and frankly would be a little bit of an annoyance to them. <laughs> but hear me out about why I actually don't think writing is rewriting. See, to me, I understand where the phrase came from. Of course, editing and going back and revising are very important parts of getting your writing to where you want it to be, especially when you're looking at it in terms of bigger writing pieces like fiction and nonfiction. And it can be very true with poetry, especially with how technical and precise poems can be. But I think that there has become almost a worship of this mantra to the extent that people have misinterpreted it and taken it a little too seriously on the face of it, and then you misused it. See, I think that writing is rewriting puts forth an incorrect philosophy that you're supposed to write something and spend a large amount of time rewriting that one piece, and that this is what a writer does. I disagree. I say that writing is writing. Now, I know that that probably sounds self-evident, but let's look at an example. Say you're in martial arts, and you throw one punch. Now, maybe that punch doesn't look good. Of course it wouldn't look good. This is the first time you threw the punch. So the instructor comes over and has you hold the punch in midair, and then just spends the next 30 minutes correcting your posture for that punch. Now, this might seem like it makes a lot of sense, except for the fact that you're not going to throw a punch any better the second time, most likely, because that was the only punch you threw. However, if you spent that half hour throwing hundreds of punches, eventually you're going to start to throw better punches. It's the same thing with writing. You can't just write one page of work and then expect to make it magically perfect by going back and editing it. That would be like having the same piece of steak and doing nothing but spicing it over and over and over again. If it's a bad piece of steak, the steak is not going to be good no matter what kind of spice you put on it. I know that the philosophy of writing as rewriting was created for a lot of students probably over-enthusiastic writing students who would keep on churning out pages and pages and pages and probably wouldn't be very good quality. And so you get the whole argument that quality is better than quantity. Well, I think Ray Bradbury said it best. Yes, quality is obviously better than quantity. However, quantity produces experience, and experience is absolutely positively necessary to produce quality. And this is something that I think a lot of people take for granted. You're not going to get around needing the experience to actually produce good writing, whether that is poetry, fiction, nonfiction, or whatever. So when you go by the mantra, writing is rewriting, and you stay there, you're overlooking the fact that you really need to keep on producing writing, and you need to go through what I like to call your crap dues, where you write a lot of things over a long period of time that may not necessarily be good, but what you're doing when you're actually doing the writing is you're practicing and you're getting experience. Something you were trying to go for may not come out good the first time. Does that mean you sit there for five years working on that one piece trying to make it better? Maybe, but not necessarily. I would say if you keep on writing over and over, it's going to eventually develop into more experience. It's going to produce better writing, and you might actually find that you're going to self-edit a whole lot better internally so that the amount of rewriting you actually need to do goes down and down and down as time goes on. I think the concept that writing is rewriting also speaks to a trend that I've kind of noticed in writing, and you've probably noticed it too. Have you ever noticed the person who's been working on the same book for like 20 years and never actually seems to get any closer, and they're always talking about, well, I'm revising it? In some cases, writing is rewriting is a way to do busy work without actually getting to the next step. It's like a psychological block. It speaks to one of the problems that I kind of see with our society at large, which is perfectionism which in some ways is just another way of being afraid to actually do anything, because let's be honest, there's no such thing as perfect. We're never going to be perfect. Nothing we do is ever going to be perfect. So if you're a perfectionist, you're basically saying nothing will ever be good enough for you, which gives yourself an excuse to never actually do anything. It's almost like after we get out of school, we're afraid to do anything that we're not automatically good at. Writers encounter this all the time, but it's okay to start something and not be necessarily good at it. It's okay to write a poem that goes absolutely nowhere. It's okay to write plenty of poems that go nowhere. One of the things that I encounter in teaching workshops and doing lectures a lot of the time is people say they don't have enough time to write well. And maybe that's true. Maybe where they currently are, they're, they're not writing, you know, as well as they could be, or they don't have enough time, like maybe they only have a few minutes. But it's important to keep on writing anyway. Even if you don't actually have enough time to finish something, write down a few lines. Write for the trash bin. Get up in the morning, the first thing you do, write for the trash bin. 
keep the pen moving or keep the keyboard going. It's not like it actually has to come out good. It's a matter of just doing the writing, because the more you do the writing, the more used to doing the writing you will be, and the better the writing will come out. I have about 10,000 pages of absolute crap writing that I did when I was younger that never has gone anywhere. Nobody's ever seen it. But I do consider that absolutely necessary for the writing success that I've had since then. Because without that quantity, without the experience that came from doing all that writing, I never would have actually found my own voice and gotten to the point where I actually can produce things I'm proud of. So is rewriting and editing an important part of writing? Absolutely. But what I'm trying to say here is don't let the concept that writing is rewriting replace the act of writing.